Okay, hey, uh, part two, my XTC vinyl collection, 12 inches. Here we go. Size is breaking over time, Canadian 12 inch, with part of the sleeve ripped off, which was kind of. <coughs> didn't notice it when I first bought it. 12 inch for the price of a single. This is backed with Blame the Weather, Egyptian, and Egyptian Solution, Thieves in a Box, Homo Safari, number three. Limited edition, and it's on a third variation of the gray version. Next, I have what may be considered the holy grail for XTC vinyl uh -huh. collectors. That is a original U.S. promo Skylarking with mermaid smiles. No, dear God. There. It's promo. Has the original inner sleeve and all. It's on the black Geffen label. And it has the original, why is it original? Original Geffen bio of XTC. I said it was promo, so it has the bio, which was amazing to find. Never seen another one of these ever. This was like a couple of bucks. Someone probably just came in and didn't know they were selling. I actually have that Princeton Record Exchange. They usually they're usually a little bit like overpriced with stuff like this, but this was like maybe five dollars. Trying to get this back in. Next we have This World Over, Big Express Single, 12 inch, I believe this is the UK. Nice glossy cover, This World Over, full length version. And this has a nice custom label. But of course, it's unbreaking, as with all early UK XT staple. Early to mid, in a little bit. All um, white music orchestration 3D EP to wrapped in grey. Single. All unbreaking. UK, of course. US is. Geffen, Epic, RSO, seriously, like, they had, like, so many labels in the U.S., they were on so many labels, but in the U.K., they just stuck the virgin. Next, we have Meeting Place, 12-inch single. Oh, I didn't mention the, uh, List World Over is backed with blue overall. This is backed with, um, The Man Who Sailed Around His Soul, Plus the home demos, Terrorism, Let's Make a Den, Find the Fox, and the Troubles. I'm still looking for a nice copy of the clear, 7 inch clear vinyl version of this, but I just wanted this for mainly the demos. And this, I believe, this is a custom, yep, custom version. Then we have, I believe, UK, Love on a Farm Boy's Wages, 12 inch single, backed with Burning with Optimism's Flames, English Roundabout, and Cut It Out Live, which is basically just a jam of Scissor Man. This is on Custom Virgin. 
kind of hard to see. Try. It's basically just grass with a white background, so it's nothing too exciting, but this has some exclusive live tracks, which is why I bought it. If I was just like back with like a loving memory of a name, then what is like? I'm looking for a good copy of the 7 inch version of this single. Next we have, this isn't really a 12 inch, but I don't know where to classify it, so it's the Japanese Live and More B-side compilation. The OB. This is side one, Don't Loose. It's really loose, but this is a typo, Don't Loose Your Temper. Smoke with Zone and Living Through Another Cuba and General Some Majors Live. Then Scissor Man Live, The Somnambulist, and Set Myself on Fire Live. Which I. This is the only way that I have this right now. Still looking for the double Towers of London pack. That's really rare, but I'm trying to find it for a good price and in good condition. This is a pick label. That's what they're called. And this is what it is. Of course, you have the typical Japanese lyric sheet. And this is the pick label. It's an extremely large label. Or an extremely, well, not extreme, but a small vinyl. That's pretty cool. I thought. And, um, usually this goes for like 30 plus, but I found it for less than that. So I was happy about that. This is the only time that I've actually seen this in a regular record store. Which is also nice. I only make purchases off of eBay if I've not seen it anywhere else. And don't think that I ever will see it anywhere else. I was really tempted to buy the Are You Receiving Me that you saw in the last part. Uh, I was really tempted, like, I was tempted to buy that on eBay because I never thought I would come across that in my record store. But I did. So I'm glad that I didn't waste my money. Next we have the 12 inch Great Fire. This is backed with, this is not that good condition, so I'm trying to upgrade it. This is backed with gold, frost circus, and procession towards learning land. The sleeves are like really flimsy and has a price sticker on it, so definitely looking to upgrade this, but the vinyl looks near on plate. Same label as the Great Fire 7 inch I showed you in the last part. I've tried to do this video a lot in the past, but it just hasn't worked out. Next we have U.S. English Settlement with the sticker, and not really good condition, so I'm looking to upgrade this one. I'm just in a bargain bin. The inner sleeve has coffee stains on it. Not really the best condition, but it actually plays really well on Epic to the U.S., of course. At this time, they were on Epic in the U.S. They switched to Geffen for their next album, which I don't have yet. Uh, I believe the only two, well, the only three, hold me, four, I'm trying to think of the albums I don't have I don't have White Music, Drums and Wires, Mama, I don't have any of the Dukes of Stratosphere stuff, so that's already five. Don't have Oranges and Lemons, and don't have none and such. I'm missing nine XTC albums on vinyl. But here we have an original UK English settlement.
really happy to find this one for a good price. Let's have a computer just him filming on a webcam. It just comes out from the top, I like the white album. Um, custom inner sleeve, this is for record one, it's a double LP set. And record two, then we have the actual LP, record one, side so two. And side three, side four. So I'm only missing the twelve inch um ball and chain and the Nuckles Narhaus single and I'll have everything released during the English settlement period, which is kinda cool. Which is like nineteen eighty two. One of their more acoustic based albums, but there are some heavier songs in this one, like Ball and Chain and Down in the Cockpit and Leisure. And oh, yeah, I didn't mention that the US, the reason I got the US is because it takes off a lot of tracks and it has a rearranged track listing. This one has 15 tracks, the original UK, I believe the US has 10 or 11. And also, the tracks that are on there are rearranged, so. And it has like a slightly more light green cover. If I can get this in. Oh, it is. There we go. See, I can't upgrade this because of the condition, but I'm good with where it is at this point right now. Still a, it's still one of their best albums. Musically, it's... Okay, it's very good. This is a funny story. So... Back when I used to go to Princeton a lot, I bought this. It's an original U.S. Black Sea with the outer bag. And it's not that good condition, but whatever. So I got home, started playing it. And what do you know? It had the original on your sleeve and everything. On side two, the song Burning with Optimism's Flame skips. my mom's thinking. So I'm like, okay, fine, you know what? Okay, I'll deal with it. Just one, you know, next copy I'll find, I'll buy it, play it, and it'll be good. At least that's what I thought. Because uh, then about maybe a year later before I found another copy of Black Sea, or at least a good copy, without the outer bag or anything, just a plain old sleeve. I bought it. I was happy. Had the original inner sleeve. Everything was all good. Again, U.S. copy. The first song skips. So that's two original U.S. Black Seas that I have. Both of them skip. So I was pretty mad about that, but oh well. Next we have a um, promo, the Big Express, uh, U.S. Of course not UK, because it's the full sleeve, not just that wheel sleeve. That wheel sleeve, man, I really want that. It has the original under sleeve. It's on a promo white geffen. So, 
This is my copy of the Big Express right now. It doesn't skip, plays really good. So I'm happy to have that. Uh, I believe we're down to the last two or three. I told you, man, I collected a lot of FTC vinyl in the past couple of years. Now we have a couple more after this. This is a U.S. promo beeswax B-side compilation. This record was supposed to be free with the purchase of Waxworks, but it just came alone. There is a actual Waxworks uh, beeswax like double thing at my record store. So next time I go, I'm probably gonna get that. White promo free. It says XTC free. It's a good B side compilation. It doesn't have all their B sides, but it has the better ones. Like, it doesn't have, like, the. It has a remixed version of Heaven's Paper Broken Glass. And the um, original version that's on the ball and chain, 7 inch and 12 inch, has yet to be released officially on CD. Or in that case, on another vinyl release. So, still waiting for <laughs> Ape to release Heaven's Fair Broken Glass, the original version. Because I do not want the remix. Next we have All You Pretty Girls, 12 inch, backed with Wash Away and Red Brick, and Red Brick Dream. This is custom labels, I know that for sure. This is one of the pieces that I've had for the longest in my collection. There you go, custom label. Next we have This is a US go to with the inner sleeve. Nice inner sleeve. This is on Epic. Then we have a reprint. I believe this might be Canadian, but it has the poster. On Virgin International, go to. Then we have the last thing, Go Plus, which is basically a uh, EP that came with the first 15,000 copies of Go To on the black and uh, not black, sorry, green and red version. It's a dub EP of dub versions of five of the Go To tracks, and it's really hard to find. I have an original copy that came with an original Go To. You can tell by the catalog number, which is over there. Anyway, thank you for watching my XTC Vinyl Collection. Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys later.